The Letch Glacier is the longest glacier in Europe and I walked in an organised group with Mike in August of 2017. The jumping off point for the glacier is in Grindelwald in Switzerland and Grindelwald is a, a town in a valley below the north face of the Eiger so it was really lovely to spend the night there just looking at the fantastic views. The next morning you then take a beautiful train journey up into the mountains to reach Jungfrau Jock which is the top of the Europe or it classes itself as the top of Europe. Jungfrau Jock is an amazing place with a glacier that you can walk through and they have lots of really interesting ice sculptures in them that you can witness. Because it's such an amazing place it is incredibly busy. We arrived very early in the morning on the first train so therefore it was reasonably quiet but by the time we'd seen around and went back into the sort of cafe area there were just hundreds of people around. The walk is over two days staying in a hut midway and we were meeting our guide in the cafe area at the top of Europe. After a briefing and introduction to the other people doing the trip we headed off. Because it's a glacier and there's risk of falling into crevasses you actually have to be roped all the time while you're on the glacier and I was roped next to the guide. What's really interesting is that the glacier is receding so you can see huts that look as though they're in really ridiculous places but in actual fact those huts are in places that just a few years ago the glacier actually extended up to so that we were being pointed out look at this hut look at that hut that was where the glacier was 20-30 years ago. As you can see the it's just amazing crevasses and trying to make your way through these was a bit of a challenge at times. Route finding on the glasses is also quite a challenge and this waterfall wasn't there or it was a very small waterfall just a couple of weeks before when our guide had taken another party up he had hoped we'd be able to walk across it but we couldn't. So night one was spent in this beautiful hut. You had to walk up 467 stairs to the stairway to heaven um, to get to the, the hut. Our guide thought I might be scared of heights and would, would want to be roped up because it's a very um, airy exposed stairway but not being frightened of heights I managed up really quite well. The hut itself was in an absolutely fantastic location with absolutely beautiful views over the glacier. Conditions in the hut were good but there was not a lot of water so all you could really do was wash your face and things like that and toothbrushing but spare water for showers etc there just wasn't any. So the next morning we walked down along a path back onto the glacier. It was only on day two that we were at we had our crampons on and that was because the glacier became incredibly icy below the hut and therefore we needed the glaciers uh, the, the crampons on in order to manage the, the ice. People I think often consider glaciers to be nice and white etc. Not so. The, there's a lot of the mountain stones etc pulled down by the glacier and the glacier itself was really quite grubby I guess um, in, which made it quite interesting and here you can see our guide sort of trying to get a bridge tip for us to get across a particularly de deep kind of ravine um, crevasse in the glacier. So after we had got to the end of the glacier bit there was a walk through a tunnel and 
down a path to get to the end of the walk at a cable car. You get the cable car down to the nearest town whose name I have forgotten. We then took a train from there to our overnight stop in Spitz on the shores of Lake Toon where we spent the night before making our way back to Basel Airport and thus back to London for the end of the journey.